how to become a great machinist. Attitude is everything. You gotta wanna like go after it and and just have an obsession for perfection, oh, just for mm. learning everything. And we run into so many people every day that have such a negative attitude where it's just like, no, I don't even wanna know how to do that. I yeah. already know how to hit cycle start, that's good enough. Yeah. And it's like, that's never gonna get you anywhere. Having a positive attitude is what gets you into the door at great companies. It's what gets you the opportunities at the job that you're currently at. It's so important and like, everything else takes a backseat to that in my opinion it's the first thing you show up with is it's what people see right and it's funny like you said like it and unfortunately it's not common and so having that attitude it does it's the immediate thing that's going to set you apart from so much of the pack i mean we've talked about it before like when we can't stand it when somebody comes up and says i've got 30 years experience you can't tell me anything and that's that's terrible and that but that's one thing but if you've got that attitude when you've in one year two years into this like it's so much worse and i even worked with a guy that was like 24 years old and literally like everything we were about to do he's like uh you, that's probably not going to work oh that's not going to work oh that's not going to work i'm like dude <laughs> in all your four years of experience you know you just can you can call it you know How that's not going to work know that? Like, <laughs> one of the things nobody ever thinks about they think about skill and money skill and money and i'm like you know what one of the most important uh things that you have to have attributes is be likable you know what i mean because you have to go out there and hustle work and people have to say hey i actually want to you know take a chance on this person and give them work and spend time giving them quotes and deal with them on a daily basis and like there's a relationship in this and it's like you know you need to have a great attitude you got to be likable and in the same place if you work at a job shop and you're around a bunch of like just stellar individuals that know an amazing amount it's important for you to have the right attitude be likable and and ask for it people love like if you see a young guy come up and he's just like hey can you teach me something you want to help that person if they're hungry and they have passion and they they're going to put the time in and they're asking you for help you're going to totally want to help them we have a fundamental series that basically you know put the program in the machine stone the table put the vice on indicate the vice how to how to like put pressure you know on the bolts and stuff to like get it all locked in you know, tap it in and then indicate it, perfectly place it. You know what I mean? Putting in parallels, putting in all of it, like the entire stack up of like setup is explained in simple little videos. And then you can go through the setup sheet. The more you do that, the better you get. So anybody who wants to learn how to be a, a programmer or just a machinist or learn GDNT, putting that time, going through all the building blocks, just, bringing all that in i mean you can learn so much from it even if it's not exact your situation like oh that's not the machine that i run so i'm not going to watch it but it's like you just said stoning the table this and that like crank process uh, is process yeah like uh torquing the vice like there's little nuggets all throughout there that you're going to be learning and that will apply to everything that you do i was looking at the ball in a box video super good to make a ball in a box what did you do you made a perfect cube first you went through the fundamentals of making a perfect cube. You had said something earlier about being hungry, and I think that's so important. If you want to be a great machinist, I think you got to have passion for the trade. And maybe, maybe people disagree, but if you, if you don't love the trade, if you don't love what you're doing, if you don't have a passion for it, if you're not looking like Jesse did and looking at that program and saying, "This can be better. How can it be better? How can I change my tool? How can I change my tool path? How can I make a setup sheet so it takes me two hours to set up this machine, and not four? If you don't have that hunger, then I don't know. I don't think you'll ever be a great machinist. So having that passion and just like you said that hunger to to get it done and to get it done better day in and day out is so essential to being a great machinist an obsession for perfection in life in general in all things and all variables is just an, a great attitude to have you know 100%. because you're what you're talking about like oh this could be better it's like absolutely oh any of my programs could be better absolutely so like where's the wasted motion obsession for perfection is such a great that philosophy. should be a shirt how come we don't have a shirt Dude, that should, says that, that. Should, that should just like just like black yeah. and simple 
you know what I mean? And you can just like have like the eagle. Dave. And in the back, just have obsession for perfection. I love that. And that has a lot to do too with experience. You know, the more things that you see being done, the more things that you can incorporate into your day-to-day processes and your programs. So, you know, there's so many different avenues. We have YouTube now, which we didn't have back when some of us were learning. But uh, now we can just, you know, search for a specific thing, find it right away, learn what other people are doing. That is how you become a great machine. It's just like have a great attitude, love the trade, love people, like dissect the machine, dissect the, the programs, like just look at all the variables, learn them, put the time in. You know, if you're married, like wait till your wife goes to sleep or something and just put time in, you know, watch videos. You can be watching videos that do nothing for your well-being or your life. Then watch machining videos that will actually you don't know that you're learning something, but all of a sudden you're taking that in. And that's knowledge, knowledge, knowledge and knowledge is power. And you can be great, but you got to put the work in. That's right. Yep. And just know that if you're if you're in the shower and you're not thinking about how you could have done that part better, <laughs> you're probably not a great machinist yeah. yet. I'm just saying. <laughs>